Hey folks, Dirty here for Premiere Basics, and today we're taking a look at Studio Plugins, which is a plugin for Premiere Pro. Obviously. Now, they were very kind to sponsor us today, but we've actually worked together with them in the past, and I've been using their plugins now for a while, so even if they didn't sponsor, I would still recommend. In short, Studio Plugins gives you access to a whole bunch of transitions, text animations, color presets, and even sound effects for both Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. You can access a limited amount of presets through a free account, or get everything for a premium subscription. Which, if you take it for a year, comes down to a little over 5 bucks a month, so that is very affordable. Now perhaps cancel your Netflix subscription like everyone is doing right now and put your money into something more useful. So after you install Studio Plugins, you get a manager from which you can install dedicated packs. I would recommend to also install Premiere Studio, which is going to give you a nice interface for everything in Premiere itself. Now that nice little interface can be found on the top menu, Windows, Extensions, and then choose Premiere Studio. Now on the left hand side, we can browse through all the presets we installed and the great thing is that we get an immediate preview of everything. Within the flat category we can get bounce transitions, also with an RGB variation, simple wipes, which I really like, cinematic transitions, warps, which are pretty cool, different kinds of zooms, light leaks, glitches, and so much more. For every transition we get multiple variations as well and once you found something that you like, simply put your play hat where a transition needs to come and then first click on resize to match the presets result resolution to your timeline, they work up to 8K resolutions by the way, you can enable to import a sound effect as well, or disable that if you don't like the sound effects, and then just click on add. That's it. It's that simple. Now since the latest update, they've also added a bunch of new packs such as the color presets. Again, we get many different categories to choose from and different styles within. As you add a color preset, it's being added on an adjustment layer, so to decrease the strength of the look, you can simply decrease the opacity of that adjustment layer. The sound effects library is pretty nice as well, it covers most of the common actions, and I love how it's built into Premiere. You hoover over the sound effects to hear a preview, and once you found something, simply click add again to bring it into your timeline. It's added as a normal sound clip, so you can further tweak it using the essential sounds panel if you prefer. Text presets are a bunch of text and title animations. Again, you can add them to the timeline, and then from the essential graphics window, you can further change the text input, but also the font, the size, the color, etc. The graphics and effects pack is one of my favorites. There are title animations which look really good, and there are many different styles to choose from. Just like with anything, they are fully customizable to make them fit your edits. For film, we can find a few presets, which are a huge time saver. There are simple shape animations to add something playful to your edits. Movable backgrounds, which again are customizable, and that is something really cool. These are very useful to display your title animations on or something. We even get a whole collection of light leaks, flares, smoke, and textures. So that is in a nutshell what Studio Plugins offer. There's also the After Effects bundle, which I won't get into in this video, but I might cover it on our future After Effects Basics channel. Alright, I've got an edit right here which could be a promo or something for a football clip. I'm gonna start off with a smoke clip in the beginning, and if you change the blending mode of that clip to multiply, it will show the clip underneath. It looks much better than just a simple fade in. I'd like to show a big title next, but first let's add a glitch transition. It comes with a sound effect and all. This is to introduce the big title which we'll add in next. Let's look for some cool shape animations next, just to make the edit more playful. We can change the colors of these to all whites, and as we cut to this out of focus clip, it would be nice to have some kind of a transition to give sense to that blurry clip. This roll looks really good, so let's add it to the timeline. Check it out, looks really good. A great tip is to always show a certain style more often, like the glitch, show it a couple of times, as well as the graphic animations. If you only use them once in an edit, they might feel out of place. But when using the same style multiple times, it feels more like a chosen theme rather than just a cool effect that you happen to find. I also came across these line animations, which I think is really Really cool to sit behind the subject, so I'll duplicate my clip for that, which now sits above the animation as well, and from the opacity take the pen tool and draw a rough mask around the subject. Since the talent is standing pretty still, we don't even have to animate the mask, also because the clip is pretty short. Alright, let's have a look at the entire edit now. No, 
Now, if you feel like playing football, then it means my promo video was a success. If not, then you're just lazy. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Studio Plugins, for the support. Links can be found in the description down below. And as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left for more. That one is pretty cool as well. And over there is a subscribe button if you want to see a new video every single Wednesday. All right, take care, wash your hands, and goodbye.